So I grew up in Oregon, and my dad and I are very close. And he uh, worked for some small businesses that he had. And so I spent a lot of time around that, got really interested in business and economics, growing up around uh, that environment. And then uh, went to college, studied economics and math, went uh, and worked for an economic consulting firm out of college. I uh, wanted a little bit of a break, so I went in to teach math. Uh, so I taught high school math for a couple years and then really missed economics. I really missed the challenge of doing that work where you don't have an answer that's necessarily fed your way, right? There's many possible answers and you have to find the best possible answer. And that's sort of like education, right? You have to unlock a student, figure out what makes them tick and for them to come up with that best answer. And so I, I just love working at ITR because every day it's a new problem, a new industry, a new company, a new client, new set of circumstances in the economy. And I really get to, to dive into it here in a way that, that I just am really passionate about. Uh, going through the Great Recession, uh, you know, my dad's business struggled immensely. And so I know that those, those numbers are personal to people and so I want to make sure that I'm doing everything I can to be giving the best insights and that we can as a company to be doing all the analytical work we need to do to make uh, the right uh, recommendations for companies so that they can make it through, their workers can make it through, because that, that's really important. And I think uh, that's not just a me thing, I think that's a lot of the people on the econ team here at ITR. You know, we, we'd do something else if that wasn't important to us. Well, you know, when he first came on board, I thought, well, here's a quiet guy who used to be a teacher. I hope he's good. <laughs> that was my first impression. And uh, what he's grown into is uh, brilliant. I mean, uh, I actually introduced him as our resident genius. Uh, I think he's that smart. And he probably is a genius. His uh, analytical ability are second to none and his mathematical abilities and his understanding of economics and how the pieces fit together. It's, it's like this global orchestral piece that is constantly in play with, and, and he understands all the pieces. He understands it all and how it fits together. And he can reduce it to um, words, thoughts, actions, concepts that apply to businesses. I mean, the, the man is you know, probably the smartest guy I've ever met. And uh, he's gonna really help I propel ITR in the future for years to come. Eric doesn't even know how smart he is, or if he does, he doesn't say it out loud, but he's got an analytical mind and he's got this curiosity about him that just keeps him asking why, how, how does this fit together uh, in a very quiet way, but in a powerful way, if you know what I mean. And he's a force. And he's going to be a force here for a long time. I really want to understand what's important to you and why you sought out ITR and you sought out me and what challenges or problems or information that I can provide and that we can provide as a company to help you fix your challenges. And so I think why I love ITR is we don't do economic work for academics. We do it for businesses and that those impact the success of those businesses, the lives of the workers of those businesses, the economy at large, and so that, that's why I love it.